Hey, how's it going? My name is Jay Ashcroft. I am a photographer and a filmmaker. Today, I am working on a client project. These guys have been a client for four years now. They're a construction company. So I'm throwing together this quick video for them. I have my guy, John, shoot it. And now I'm editing it. And there's some photos to go along with it too. Here we go. So first things first here, I've already imported everything, but I'll kind of reverse engineer it from the start. So to start off, there are three different types of organizational sections within Final Cut. So you have projects, events, and libraries. Your library is like the master file. It, it, it houses the entire thing. Your events are ways of organizing your individual assets. So your clips, your, your little bits of audio, music, sound effects, etc. And then your project is down here, the actual timeline itself so I'll reverse engineer here if you if you come in and there's like there's nothing here you, you go file new library and I have everything organized in my footage folder you want to have it over in movies over here footage and this company is called Steve built and the job is called Meridian as you can see I've already made a new library in that folder there underneath the subfolders I called it Meridian. So then from there you will once that loads up you'll automatically have like just an automatic event there and you'll be able to import. So just to say if I wanted to import some new media this usually pops up. It's a great way to do it. Make sure all these are kind of checked in this way. I, I don't, you don't have to create proxy at all times. It depends on what kind of camera you're running, what kind of computer you're running. Um, but I always create proxies. Um, ProRes proxy, I set it to 50%. And then you would go through, select your footage. So I've got all this. Shift, click, you select all that, and then you, you would import it. I import it ahead of time. I wanted to have my proxies ready to go. And this project, we also had a separate lav mic that we were running. Uh, so this is all of the. <laughs> I thought that was good. Thought that was going to be. Oh, it's going to be a rowdy one. This is, <laughs> these guys are funny. It was a uh, lav mic has been recorded separately. So same same deal. You know, you're going to import media. Go to where your lav's at. It's right there. Import. You're good to go. So once you got that all kind of set up, you're going to go new project. And I'm gonna call it the same thing. I am shooting this. This was shot in 4K on a Sony A7 III. And I'm gonna edit it in 4K as well. So you want your frame rate to be 23.98, up a ProRes 422, all this stuff. Okay. And then, first thing in my process of, of editing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit uh, Command A, which is going to select all the clips. I'm going to drag them in, right? If you hit Command minus, that's going to, and Command plus, it's going to shrink or expand the size of your, your timeline. So right off the hop, generally when we're shooting, so like stuff like this, like this is, these are B-roll shots. Those will be shot in 60 frames per second. So we're, we got a slow-mo option here. So all you got to do for that is highlight, highlight everything right, from, right off the hop. You're going to click this little wheel up here and you're going to click automatic speed. And that's going to automatically make everything what it's supposed to be. If it was shot in 60 frames per second, this is a 23.98 frames per second timeline. It's 40% of the speed that it actually is. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of talking happening on this one. But I will, I will leave this for later. And first I like to really go through and kind of chop up, chop up my, my B-roll footage. So to do that, you're going to hit Option and I, I don't even know what that, <laughs> I don't even know what that symbol is called. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google that quick for you. Bear with me. It's on keyboard. 
what is it called? And keyboard. Um, well, how about that? It's a, um, it's a, it's a uh, right and left curly brace. That's what it's called. It looks like this, right? So you got, if you had an option, left curly brace or option, right curly brace, it is going to do this, right? So you're, I'm just gonna call it right and left curly, if that's okay with you. So I'm, I'm gonna come to kind of the start of the clip where I want it, where I think that's gonna be an okay B-roll section to start at, option left curly. So that's still looking pretty good. And I'll, I'll let it you know, zoom in a little bit so you got more access to specific frames, but then you kind of lost it. John kind of lost it there, right? So then I'm gonna hit Command B. This starts to look good again. That's like good movement. So here, option left curly. Still good. Command B. Good shot there. Option left curly. So these are, I guess these are planters that they're putting in for Earth Day or something for a bank. Um, which is really, really good for them. This is, uh, they're a residential construction company, but they're starting to take on a couple of commercial projects, which is, which is good. So you never know who, um, who somebody working in a bank might know or might talk about you. Brand recognition is brand, re brand recognition is good. They got their their name on all this stuff. Command B. It's a good shot. Command left curly. It's good. Command B again. And remember the, these bits that you're cutting up, I'm gonna hit Command Z, because I noticed that I didn't grab that shot early enough. And we'll start there. Option left curly. Option left curly again. These, um, I don't think there's actually anything there. So I'm just gonna ditch what I was doing there. Uh, there's a good little B-roll shot. Option left curly. Anyways, these these B-roll shots, like they don't they don't need to be perfect just yet. Um, you know, just kind of trust trust your gut, make cuts where you feel you should, and then you know afterwards you just have all of this footage to go through to choose from. That's going to help with the storyline. Grab that shot. That's good. So something else I do before I go any further here is I like to organize my footage. I find in Premiere there's a li little bit better of a labeling system, but in here you can still do it. So you go to, uh, you highlight everything, you go to assign video roles, edit roles, and you're going to add a new one up here, add video roll, I'm going to call that B-roll, apply. And then you right click again, assign video rules and click B-roll. Oh, sorry, I forgot. All right, let, let's rewind. The, you have to have, you have to have all of the audio removed and separated from the clip before you assign it a color code. So we'll, we'll just do that after. And I'll tell you why after. It's gonna be a real shot. Option left curl. Or maybe not. Not really. That's yeah, good. Option left curly. Sweet. Can end it there. Command B. Option left curly starting there. Command B.
All right, that's the end of that clip. So I'm going to delete the rest of that. There's nothing else in there. Yeah. Get shots of these guys bickering, what it looks like. <laughs> Command B. Hammer pass, that's a good shot. Grab that. Command B. That's good, grab the drill shot. Now you hear, you hear how the, you hear how that is very clearly in slow motion, like it's been slowed down. I'll just kind of show you a comparison for a sec. So you can, you can right click and go to detach audio. So this is what it sounds like. Then if you click on that audio, you click on this wheel up here again and you hit, uh, auto, or sorry, you hit uh, normal 100%. This is what it's actually supposed to sound like. And this is what it sounds like now. It just, it just kind of has that weird echo chamber vibe. I'm gonna hit Command Z, put it back in there. Um, it's not supposed to sound like that. So like, I'm not, I'm not gonna detach all my audio just yet to organize this footage because I wanna have, it's easier to chop through it if the audio is still connected to it. And then at the very end, when I, finally choose my clips to use then I will detach the audio and for each clip I will slow that audio back down to normal speed so the drill sounds real command B there delete the rest of that onto the next one grab that You don't, you don't have to grab the whole thing, you know, um, use your, use your own taste. So this is good, good kind of branding shot. We'll hit option left curly. And command B, nothing else in the rest of that shot. So I'll delete that. That's good branding too. So anytime we're out on any of these shoots like this, we're we're getting a variety of things. We're wanting to get branding and logo stuff because brand brand recognition is really important for this client. And we're wanting to get wide shots of what's going on. We're wanting to get other little bits of info. So they're at the Meridian Credit Union here. So we're getting that shot. It's kind of helping to tell the story. I like that one better. Sometimes I'll, I'll keep a couple different options of shots and then I can decide later. I'm not making any huge decisions just yet. I like that. So we're getting, we're getting wide shots. We're getting detail shots of stuff. We're getting logos and branding. Just really, you know, you don't, you don't have to overshoot because then it just makes more work for you after. But when you're on site, if you're working with a client and you are shooting a project like this, just really kind of, really kind of explore different types of shots. Don't just get all details because then it can feel kind of claustrophobic and don't just get all wides because then it's not going to feel intimate enough. Right? So you want to get like a good variety and also remember all the, the, the branding, the logos, if you know, if they're, if they're a, a company who seems to have a lot of branding happening that that should tell you that that's important to them right so really try to to capture all that that's good these raking shots that's good Cut that there. And so this, I'm um, just gonna double check here. If you wanna edit in proxies, you're gonna click view and then proxy only. And you can see the quality goes down just a little bit, but I'm really not, I'm not finding that this footage is chugging along or causing any issues for me whatsoever. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep it Optimize original, right? Same thing, view, optimize original. This means it's your original 4K footage. This is proxy only. 
Now, if you're, it depends on what camera you're shooting on too. And again, the age of your machine. This is this is a bit of an older machine. This one. It's um, where's the year on this? I don't know. I'm not seeing the year on it. I think it's like a 2016 or something. But it's it's got more than enough to cut through this footage. If you have one of those new MacBooks, maybe with the the new chip in it, then you're more than fine. The only time I ever really have to switch into proxies, I'm finding, is if I'm if I've gone and shot something and it's on my A7S III, and that's got 10-bit color in it. So I find that. It doesn't really like that so much. It can get kind of choppy. That was good. That might that might be a good opportunity for a speed ramp later, right? So you know, start start kind of slow there, and then speed ramp down to the rake. I might do that. We'll see. It's a good shot. good we'll cut the end there that's good I'm gonna ditch that shot actually that's a good shot there so option left curly okay, so I'll end it there Grab that starting there, option left curly. Yep. Oh, I think that's close to enough of the screening here. <sighs> Exposure's a little hot here, so I'll just have to remember that when I'm color grading. There we go, thank you, John. Another thing too, you know, if you're on site shooting, just always keep an eye on that. Always keep an eye on your exposure. It looks like he had a, a variable ND filter on. Uh, Peter McKinnon has some really nice variable NDs. Grab that shot there. Man B. It's a good shot too. I'm gonna ditch that. I like about that. You can just kind of barely see the logo there. It's a good shot. Garbage. Yeah. Cut it there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now he's got some little little detail shots. The materials are using. Yeah, he's definitely using a variable ND filter there. You can see where he's way darker, a little bit brighter, getting that exposure. Good. Command B to cut that off. We don't need any more of that shot. It's all the same. Here's some, that's a slightly different shot, so I'll grab that too, just in case I decide I do want to use it. If you hit left or right arrow keys, it'll kind of bring you back and forth on the timeline. More branding. So if you're if you're wondering is is Final Cut better is Premiere Pro better is DaVinci Resolve better I don't really know I I started in Final Cut and then I and then I switched to Premiere Pro for I think maybe two years and I liked it but I something something about it was just too in depth and too thorough and you know I I kind of like the speed of Final Cut. Gonna turn this volume down here for a sec. 
I like the speed of the Final Cut. It, it lets me chop through footage really quick. It has a lot of really good plugins. It's a very intuitive software. So it kind of just, just lets you have a thought, create something from that thought, and then move on. I was just finding with, uh, with Premiere Pro, I was getting more frustrated than anything because it was either constantly crashing or the process to do a simple task was just way too in depth. Just to do a simple menial task, you had to do like a series of things and that, that was um, not very attractive to me. Although I do love Adobe, I use, I'm a photographer as well, so I use Lightroom every day, I use Photoshop constantly. I love, I love Adobe. I, I just don't really like the video editing software. And as far as DaVinci goes, I've heard great things. It's, it's a free software. If you're looking for a good way to kind of get in and not spend a lot, then I would maybe try DaVinci Resolve. Um, but other than that, I don't really know anything about it. I've never, I've never used it. So it looks like John made me thought they were going to start talking here. And then they didn't. So we did a couple false start type deals. So I'll just delete those two clips. The one I want is right here. And it looks like he's only got a lav on. See the lav he's got on. This guy's name's Dave. He's got a lav on him. No lav on Steve, though. That's okay. <laughs> and this is, uh, it sounds like the audio on his camera was turned down pretty low. So you might find this from time to time if you're collaborating with people. John and I live about two hours away from each other. I started down where he's living. And then I moved a little bit further north. But we still have these clients down here. So I'll, I'll go down here and I'll, I'll, do, I'll do shoots with them as well. And then there's other times where we'll just send John out and he'll just do the shooting. Um, so if, you, if you're collaborating with people and, and you know these things are going to happen, maybe the, the audio is a little lower than it should have been in camera when you're trying to sync up your live clip. You just gotta crank that channel enough so you can hear it. So I'm gonna come over here to the effects panel, which is down in the bottom right. And you know, just have all selected. You're gonna search compressor. A compressor really just takes all of the <laughs> audio signals and just kind of flattens them out and lifts everything up, it makes it more punchy. So I'm gonna, you can also access your sound bars. It's, it's right underneath the main screen here, the viewer. It's these, these things here. You're gonna click on those and they'll pop up on the side. You can change the size of them, you can change the size of all this. You just grab in between each panel, right? Make this a little smaller. All right, so I'm gonna click on the compressor. If you hit... <laughs> You might you might have had issues before where like you know if you tr if you dial anything in Final Cut it just goes crazy fast. If you hold down Command and do it, it slows it down for you a little bit. So I'm gonna crank that that compressor up so we can actually hear this. So we are here and we go that far. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm now looking for I'm gonna drag this lav, oh, and drag this lav file down. Don't know exactly where they started. <laughs> if you hit option S, it will make that a solo clip. So we are here and we are preparing. That clap might be good. <laughs> so we are here and we are. <laughs> All right, so you're going to hit the arrows back and forth until you land on that, that sound, right? And you're going to click on that and you're going to hit M. That's a marker, right? Now, if you hit option S again, it, it turns all the clips back on. You're gonna go down here, option S on the lav <laughs> clip. <laughs> all right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, slate. What's up everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lee in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing... All right, boys. That's Hold on, wait, you gotta come back. What? Yeah. Here. UPS. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, I don't know where that was, where he was on that. Option S again. Port. So if you hit <laughs> V, it will disable the clip. So hit V there. 
All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> he did. He did it again. I'll take. Uh, I'll take that one two, instead. One. <laughs> so see, Dave's Dave's worked with us long enough that he he started doing doing that stuff. He'll do like a. He says it jokingly, but he actually is doing a slave for me. <laughs> nice garden pun. <laughs> Where was that? Where we going? Oh, that's not seems very uh, cute. Yeah. Here. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Slate. There's that slate there. So hit M again. If you hit Command minus, it'll bring it back out. All right. So I'm just going to drag this live clip over pretty far and line up those markers. This doesn't always work. I, you know, Final Cut doesn't really have a good auto sync option for audio. Premiere Pro does. I, I find this works fine though. So I'll, I'll play both of these lines together and see if it lines up nicely. Um. <laughs> so don't just fucking cut that right all right, so that sounds good. So I'm just going to grab this audio here, and I'm just going to turn it right down. All right? Three, home and garden Dave, big boss Steve. So you're wanting to, you're wanting this audio to get pretty close to zero there. You're on location on the right side. at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. So this is problematic. He doesn't have a lav on. He should have had a lav on. Um, it's okay that he doesn't because I can go in and after and I can I can crank that audio up from Dave's lab. It's not going to sound as good. Um, that's okay though. We are in this in this area in this section. I like to throw my headphones, right? And I'm going to go in and I'm going to dial up all of my audio edits because it's all on this line here, right? So we are <laughs> So we are here and we are preparing So what we're doing is beds. Uh, we're crank this the up by hand and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're gonna be three hot Alright so again if you hit if you hit command and then you start pulling up on this it will go a lot slower. If you're not holding command it kinda you don't have a lot of control over it. But hold command and it lets you kind of fine tune that in. So I'm looking at the averages here, right? Like right over here, this is just starting to kind of peak. <laughs> that right out, that was, I thought that was good. Thought that was gonna be clever, came out just kind of. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm gonna dial it down a little bit, probably to two. And same thing, I'm gonna put a compressor on here because this just really levels out the, the audio. And you're gonna come over here to the, the audio panel, click that. Hit command, bring it up to maybe plus two on that side. And that's a little too hot, so bring that back down to maybe zero. He's four garden right. And then I'm going to play it through, and I'm going to, <laughs> as it's playing, I'm going to come up here and click on equalization. And I'm going to click this little control panel here. Right? <laughs> Don't just fucking cut that right out. Let me go here. Dave the home gnome, Steve the big boss, and we are here at right. Meridian. And I'm just going to move these up and down. I know when you think Steve built, you think residential construction. And recently, you have also been getting accustomed to thinking Steve built. Kind of I have to let you know. Steve built making a wave here. Landscaping, everything that we right. need to do. So here on the side. Here for our friends at Meridian Bank. On this side, we're going to, I just kind of bring this up into a bit of a swale. It, it just makes the, the voice a little shinier, right? All right, so he, they had a false start here, so let's find that. I'm going to take these, ditch the headphones now. Audio is all good, right? Well, don't use that. That's terrible. Um, <laughs> so don't just fucking cut that right out. That was, I thought that would be clever. Example at Meridian Loop. Yeah, it, twice, but thrice at three different Meridian locations. Yep. Doing this not once. Uh, so we will be doing this not. Right, I started back here. What's up, everybody? And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. So, well, we are... 
Slate. What's up, ever Slate. Whoa. All right, looks like it starts oh, here. So you can highlight both of those and hit option left curly. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community. Okay, so if you so remember how I said his his lab was a little quiet. Community garden. Beds. Community garden oh, if all right, okay. lab's a little quiet. We are going to hit R, and you're going to select where it was quiet, drag it over, and then hit Command. You can dial that up. So let's just see what that sounds like. It might sound like crap. I don't know. Let's see. Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. Okay, that's not horrible. It's not. You can hear a little bit of a hum. Uh, I could probably bring his audio down, and we could get away with it. Um, just, just something to, just something to note if you're shooting. Just remember, community garden, remember these little details. Community Slow down, take your time. You know. What are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds, and why are we doing them? So same thing. Hit R. He's going to talk again. Crank that up a touch. Are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. All the answers. The answers. Okay, I think we'll cut it there. So we are. <laughs> so we are here, and. All right. So highlight both of those. Option left curly. So we are here, and we are preparing these four garden beds. Uh, we are stripping the sod by hand. Garden beds. Now in this in this area, so something I generally like to do is I will. If I can let them have a full full kind of sentence, so like this was 19 seconds of straight where they, they did good, there were no ums, ahs, or pauses, or like awkward claps and and um, hesitancy. So I can just let that roll, right? We're gonna let them roll doing this intro. So then from this point on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to make cuts and sort of like tighten up their sentences for them because then we can just have B-roll running over top of that. So we are here. All right, so. Command B, cut the breath out, right. highlight it. And we are preparing. All right, taking out the, the chops. Preparing these four garden beds. Uh, we're just cut up these the four up. garden beds. All right, I like that. Uh, we're stripping the sod by hand. Go and highlight that left curly, and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're going to be three high. Command B. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. So you can, the more you do this, you start to get sort of a feel for what an um and an ah looks like or what a breath looks like. You know, like here, I know that this is a breath, this little, this thing here, All right? So a lot of time we'll cut, we'll cut those out if it's going underneath of B-roll. You can also cut it out and like, you can do like a jump cut, right? Or sorry, uh, like a, like a jump zoom, a rack zoom. Uh, making, uh, Right. Making Come sure down. that this is not only accessible to our residents that are bipedal, but our residents that are wheeled as well. Don't use that. I, that's terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty uh, not not cool. Fucking <laughs> cut that right out. That was, I thought that was good. Stop me. Making sure that this is not only accessible to. Okay, so that we'll we'll jump ahead. We'll kind of see where he came back in to his uh, his vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't terribly able to. We will be doing this not once, not twice, but thrice at three different. <laughs> terribly able to. Uh, so we. we, we uh, and he he didn't mean anything by that. He's he's uh, just. We will fun. be doing this not. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this. Okay, so that S kind of got cut off there. So I'll I'll go back. I'll scrub it out, see where it lands nice. We will be we will be doing this not once, not twice, 
but thrice at three different Meridian locations, yep. and uh, we will be having the... Okay, <laughs> highlight, command B. What would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening, yeah, yeah, something like that on Monday. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep that. I don't know. I was kind of like, maybe I could do something with cut the music out or something, and it gets kind of funny and cheeky for a sec. We'll be having the, what would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening. Yeah, yeah, something like that on Monday, um, where they will be filling the boxes and making sure, dedication. To this, and making sure... Right there, so come come back in there. So like I'll probably cut out the music or something at that point. It'll just be like uh, commemoration. Maybe I'll do like a weird like slow zoom on them or something. I'll just show you show you now as an example in case I don't do it. All right, so you can do like a keyframe here. And then, you know, maybe come along to the end and it's just slowly zooming in on his face kind of awkwardly. Alright. The what would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening. Yeah, yeah, something like that on Monday. Dedication. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably keep that like that. What would you call it? Uh, <laughs> okay. Dedication. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. Okay. And then probably here, I'll probably just try to get back into the um, so, meat and potatoes. Uh, I don't know. If you're a carpenter, love a tree, hug a tree, and then chop it down and build a house with it. Or a garden bed. Yeah, or a garden bed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's do another one. Okay, he wants to do another one. You? Okay. We'll use his, uh, your lab for both. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so you hear that? John, John recognized while he was shooting, he realized that Steve wasn't wearing a lab. So he's adjusted them so that Steve's audio is going to come in better. All right. And I... That was bad practice. Generally, I should, just for the sake of time, if you have, if you didn't shoot it and you don't know what you have and you have like a lot of talking, kind of scrub through it and see where it's starting and ending. Maybe there's like another, another take that was happening. All right. What's up, everybody? Dave the Home Gnome, Steve the Big Boss, and we are here at Meridian building some garden boxes. Uh, I know when you think Steve built, you think residential construction, and recently you have also been getting accustomed to thinking Steve built for your quasi-commercial needs. I have to let you know, Steve built for your home and garden needs, landscaping, everything that we need to do, uh, we are going to be doing here for our friends at Meridian Bank. Sweet. Okay, that was good. That was really good. Anything to add, boss? We're doing that, too. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. We're doing that, too. Cool. That's it. Uh, okay. <laughs> One more thing. What's up, everybody? Okay. What's up, everybody? <laughs> no, I like. I was liking. I was liking the better. The first one better. I don't know. Wow. Uh, <laughs> What's up, everybody? Dave here. What's up, everybody? Dave here on location at Meridian Bank in Virgil. We are building some garden beds for these people. Uh, <laughs> I think we're gonna be keeping the first one. What's up, everybody? Dave from Steve Built here. We are back at the Virgil location of Meridian Bank, putting in some garden beds in celebration of Earth Day, which will be this coming Monday. Mm -hmm. All know, deck season, it needs any help. On I'm in Niagara, uh, want to let you all know that it is springtime in Niagara to let you all know that it is springtime in Niagara and springtime means fence and deck season. It also means lawn and garden season. If you or someone you know know that it is springtime in Niagara and springtime means fence time in Niagara and So I might keep this as a closing thing. They didn't really give me a close, so. Springtime means fence and deck season. It also means lawn and garden season. If you or someone you know needs any help on the exterior or interior of their home, think Steve Bill, give us a call. Sweet. That was a good finish there. All right, so we'll uh, hit Command B, delete this fluff, call that fluff. That's Rob being goofy. Okay, cool. All right, so we have our two separate sections and types of footage. We got our B roll and we got our A roll. 
If you hit option and click something and drag it up, it'll duplicate it. Then I like to drag it over to the side. I do this at the end of the clip and it, it makes this little gray spacer, right? You can grab it, make it different sizes. So I'll delete that, grab this, hit command X. I'm going to go back to where the A roll was and hit command V. This just really helps you kind of keep track of what everything is and where everything is. So I know everything on the right side of this gray bar is all B roll, all right? So kind of at this point, I'll generally start poking around with some, some music options. So I go to, I use music pad. There's lots of different options. There's art list. If you want like a, if you want a cheap option that I believe they have a bunch of free stuff. I can't remember, but if it's not free, a subscription to Storyblocks is pretty reasonable, but you have, you have a lot of music you can, you can get on here. You know, like, I don't know what you would type in. Like, yeah, they have like different options. So that's good, but I'm not using that. I, I'm using music pep. So in music pep, I don't know. I don't know the feel, I don't know the feel I'm going for. Probably like upbeat, feel good, you know, it's, it's optimistic, it's springtime, weather's nice. So we go like hip hop, um, but I want it to sound kind of original, so I'll select indie as well. Mood, maybe carefree. If I go to the attributes, there's all these options here. I'll, I'd like it to have a beat or be bouncy. Maybe I'll start with beat. And on this one, I don't, I don't want any words in the background, kind of mixing things up. So I'll go to instrumental, all right? And I'll just start, start listening. Generally also like I'll play a tune and I'll just start to kind of play it over the B-roll just to see how it's feeling. This is a this is a cool tune, I like this tune, but it's a little too abstract, I'm I'm thinking. And I'll I'll just I'll just click through, you know, I'll um, I'm looking at sound waves, right? So like I'm on this tune, like I'm looking for something consistent. I don't want a lot of rises, a lot of falls, you know, I want something pretty consistent looking. So this is all a little, too, like it's just a little bit too abstract for me. Um, so I'm thinking that's probably because I have indie selected. So I'm going to do alternative hip hop instead. I'm, I'm just trying to find something that sounds like original. It just doesn't sound basic. It's too intense. It's a good tune, too, so, too intense though, same thing. Alright, maybe, maybe the carefree is throwing it off. I'd like it to be, to be a little more tame, so maybe I'll click chill. That is not chill. It's not chill. <laughs> None of this is chill, I don't understand. Maybe um, bouncy instead of beat. Let's try that. How many options there? You know what? Maybe. This is summary. 
I'm gonna go with this. And you're not, you know, you're, you're going through and you're picking songs. You're not, you're not having to commit, you know? Grab a song. Oh, sorry. I scrubbed over something there. If you're, if you're downloading it, make sure it's uh, 48. 48 something. What was it? 48 KB or something like that. Um, I'm going to try a different one. Here, we'll go to here. You click, if you have an account with these guys, click license, see subscription, verify. I just clicked an example song there. Um, confirm and download. And the one you're clicking is 48 hertz. All right. A WAV file that just gives you the highest quality. Cool. Okay, so I've downloaded that tune. I'm going to open up my finder, go to movies, footage, Steve Built, Meridian. I'm going to make a new folder called music. If you hit option command one, it'll clean that up. You can hit your downloads here and you're going to put it in the music folder. You're going to come back to final cut and you're going to hit new events. So remember your, your event is like live clips, individual folders for organization. Your project is your timeline and your library, which doesn't even show here. Your library is the entire file that gets saved afterwards. So you right click new event, call it music. And you can either click new import or you can just drag it right in. All right. So I'm going to grab this, put it underneath. Maybe I'll color code that as well. So assign audio roles and click music just to kind of work, keep everything organized. And remember, I am going to color code this at some point. I just want to know what audio I'm using and which audio I'm not. All right. So let's kind of just get started here. Dive in. Dave, Big Boss Steve, we can Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Burton. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who that was. Still music playing over there. All right, let's try again. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. So we are here and we are preparing the... Okay, you know what? I think I wanna I think I wanna have that drop when it goes to the B-roll stuff. So let, let's listen down again. So I'm gonna come to that beat and I'm gonna hit M. Alright? Now th this kind of swells in, you don't really notice it coming in, so I'm just gonna pull back the start. It doesn't really matter where it starts. Alright, and come put that M at right where I want that beat to happen because remember I I went through I went through and I I cut this all up right so like this is where the his last sentence kind of ends I have it swell and then at that point I'm gonna start grabbing some b-roll likely start with like their the, the Meridian Center just give a really good introduction to what they're doing maybe and then get into some other stuff so let's just kind of see how that rides to start Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. Hold command, drag this down. Location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! And this guy has all the answers. So we are here. Okay. All right, so I'll grab some. That looks good to me. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll make it more of a process. Maybe I will kind of start with these clips. So I'll just drag them up if I'm interested in taking them. So what were they doing here? He was digging. Maybe grab that one. Grab that. And then I'd like to get that Meridian shot too, likely. And maybe one of the vans. Sweet. Okay. So I will drag these all together. I'm not going to use any audio on these, so I can highlight all of them. Detach audio. If you, I don't know if you found, if you, um, I'll show you another example here. Detach audio. If you try to move stuff around, 
it's like attached to things. It's like glued to it. And like, if you wanted to delete just this clip, but not the audio and you hit delete, it deletes both of them, right? So command Z, if you hold, no, I shouldn't have got rid of my, my keyboard shortcuts. I don't know what that's called either. Let me look that up. Keyboard key names. Huh. Keyboard names. Ah, where was that? I don't know what that was called. History, later today, keyboard symbols. There we go. Um, a tilde. That is called the tilde, this right here, this little thing. So that key is up under the escape beside the numbers generally, all right? So if you hold that down, a tilde, and hit delete, it will not get rid of the audio. Anyway, so put that back in. Okay, so here, delete all that. And this has now been made into that organization I wanted. So this is labeled as B-roll, right? Because I removed the audio. It's kind of annoying that it doesn't let you just um, label it even with the audio on it, but whatever. So I'm gonna grab all this and I'm gonna drag it where that drop happened and you know you're going to want to generally affect the levels of the audio for chunks of time when you want it to go up and down but we can change that after so it's going to start here birthday. boom and this guy and he, he came in a little hot there you can turn that down birthday boom and this guy has all the answers okay answers His hand's a little too intense there, so I'll get rid of that shot. Option left curly. And I'm trying to edit on the cuts, right, on the beats. So cut it there. Right there. We'll go here. And I'm going to the beat. If you hit down or up, it'll bring you the, the last cut or the next cut. Cut on that beat. You don't have to cut always on the down beat, like get, make it different. Probably cut it here. All right, so now we can likely just jump back into. So we are here. At... I'm gonna make this come in a little sooner. Weird. All right, so I'll put this up here. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have his talk and we... come in here. So we are here and we are. Yeah, cool. Um, so I'm gonna, if you hit R and drag all the way across here in command, you crank this up because you want, you generally want your audio, which you can see over here, to be hitting just above zero. It can be a little quieter, but it should never peak. All the answers. Okay. So we are here and we Right, so I want that to start to die out earlier so I can hear them, right? So we are here and we are preparing these... So this audio is a little too loud here, so I'm gonna bring it down. So we are here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We are... And we are preparing these four... So I'm probably gonna do... I don't want to go right back to B-roll yet, so I'm gonna do some... Some different like kind of zooms, like zoom in, zoom out type deal. We're here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We're stripping the sod by hand. All right, so this is a good shot here where we can get back into B-roll a little bit there, right? So over here, I'm going to go ahead and detach a lot of this audio. Delete it because I don't need any of that. There's no sound happening there. Um, I'll use that audio, right? But detach that, delete that. I'm, I'm gonna be using the drill audio, I know that. But 
there's nothing going on on these bits. You just use the stapler. This is all just wind noise and jibber jabber, so we'll ditch that. Great. Okay, so he just said that they're scraping the soil. So let's see if we can find, there we go, scraping the soil. That's good. And you can find stuff out of order just to kind of tell a story. So he's scraping there. You can see that he's still kind of working at it there. This is a different shot. Get that. And then maybe we'll grab one from close to the end where, if I can recall, he was throwing it in. Probably that one. Probably that one. Mind you, it can be confusing if like he's not wearing the same shirt. It doesn't matter much, but I don't know. I think I'll grab Taylor doing it instead. All right, so we're going to take this, and this is going to play above him talking, okay? <laughs> How long is this whole video? whole video is 134. So I don't know if maybe I might end up chopping this down a little shorter. We'll see. So we are here, and we are preparing these four garden beds. We are stripping the sod by hand, and we are laying down. We are stripping I'm just going to start there for the B-roll. We're stripping the sod by hand, and we are laying. So you want to pick where that and starts, probably that <laughs> where it's pushing in like that. Stripping the sod by hand. By hand, and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. You don't need this shot, I don't think. Or maybe that was better. The dedication on Earth Day. What's up, everybody? Let's do that one instead. Sawed by hand. I'm gonna ditch this shot. I'm gonna put this shot in. Heads, we're stripping the sod. Heads, we're stripping the sod by hand. Bring in this dump one. These are gonna be three high. We have four feet in between each one of. Four feet. Where does it show? They got four feet. They're three high. That's a good clip. Grab that, maybe. So they're going to be three high. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this not, not once, not twice, but thrice at three different Meridian locations. And uh, we will be having the... What would you call it? So this is where I said the audio should cut out. So like right here... Cut that out. What would you call it? Uh, Commemor... So I wanted to come back in on that. Did you hear that shimmer there? Right there. And I want it to come on the beat. So we'll put... Go to that beat, hit M. Right? And, and where was that? That he came back in. Something like that on Monday. Dedication. There we go. We will be having the... What would you call it? Uh... Commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening, yeah, there's something like that on Monday. Dedication. So today, we'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. What's up, everybody? Dave the Home Gnome, Steve the Big. Okay, so good. We can ditch some of that, right? So we're going to hit, I'm actually not going to delete that. I'm just going to hit Command X. And I'm going to put it at the end here. Grab another one of these Command C, copy, throw it in there. Just to have, just in case. I think I'm going to ditch it. But I don't know. Um, every once in a while, I'll just scroll back to the back. What's up, every? Back to the start <laughs> and see how it's flowing. On location. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! And this guy has all the answers. So we are here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We are stripping the sod by hand and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're going to be three high. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this not once, not twice but thrice at three different Meridian locations, and uh, we will be having the, what would you call it, uh, commemorate. Here it'll pop there. 
I think that pop is on this audio channel. So to get rid of that, you just drag the edge of it, dial it back, and you grab this little circle on the left on the side, drag that over. Having the what would you call it? So I got rid of it. But then I'll do the same on this side, right? So drag that over a touch, zoom in a little further, and drag that back. The what would you call it? Okay. And then got a little a little bit here too, so drag that, soften that up. What would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening, yeah, yeah, something like that on Monday. Dedication. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. Spring. Okay, so now I think I'd, I'd like to use a little bit more B roll. All right, so. Grab that. There's gonna be one last B-roll segment and then we'll let them do their closing chat. All right. Ditch, ditch that shot. Maybe start with a hammer pass. Come back to these guys digging. Some more brand awareness. Already got the Meridian. That was a good shot, use that one. Maybe get some raking. That's a good shot, use that. I don't think we really need those, so we can have maybe Dave there. I don't really need that shot. Um, we have so there's stapling. I'm just trying to I'm put, trying to put together like a sequence that's story like, right? Pass the hammer. These guys are over here doing this thing. Brand awareness, tossing that in, raking it out, stapling the stuff down. Dave's talking. Taylor's saying, hey, that's a good close. Nice. Okay, I think that feels good. Uh, we're probably gonna do pretty fast cuts on this, but I'll um, drag this in. All right, go back to the start again, see the What's flow. What's up everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds, and why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom, and this guy has all the answers. I think I want to make that a more tasty there. Celebration of? Birthday. Boom. Birthday. Cut the this audio out there. Boom. And bring it back here. Celebration of birthday. Boom. This guy is all the ant. I didn't like it. Didn't work. Boom. This guy is all the answers. Boom. This guy. Oh, maybe just bring it back in there. Yeah, that'll work. I was trying to make it dynamic. Empty. Right. In celebration of birthday. Boom. This guy is all the answers. So we are here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We are stripping the sod by hand and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're gonna be three high. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this not once, not twice. I kind of shaked at the end there. One of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this. See that where that kind of <laughs> shake happens? So I'm gonna zoom in, cut that out. You can probably just ditch it there. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this not once, not twice, but thrice at three different Meridian locations. And uh, we will be having the, what would you call it? Uh, 
commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening. Yeah, there's yeah. something like that on Monday. Dedication. So today. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. Okay. Monday. Dedication. So today. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. Dedication. So today. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. All right, I want to have it kind of come back in on there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna predetermine how long I want this B-roll to go. So. Okay. That could be a good um, speed ramp. Yeah, let's do that. So right on that beat, I'm going to hit Shift B, and then where I want this speed ramp to end, I'm going to hit Shift B again. All right. So I want it to end there. So hit Shift B again. You're going to click this little down arrow, custom, and let's start at 800. Too fast. It's kind of aggressive. Try 500. It might not work. Sometimes it just looks weird. Looks weird still. 300. That was better. Cut it on the B. Kind of get a full pull, right? Like that back. Cut that there. And do I want to keep the audio? I guess. So, what the, what's that key called again? Tilled. Tilled, I hit tilled, because if I just hit delete, oh, well, it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it'll like delete the audio underneath, which is weird. So I'm gonna detach the audio here, and I'm gonna make that normal and see what it does. But I want to I want to cut it up and match it with the actual hits I'm seeing, right? So what I'll do is hit Option S, and I want to kind of cut it right to the start of that, all right? And then click further, Command B, get that first hit, drag that over. These are all separate stapler hits, right? So cut that off. You're you're kind of mining for sound effects here, all right? It's just that, just that extra little effort. You could, uh, oops, you could just leave it as is, but it doesn't turn out as good. So it's just gonna match up where they're hitting, all right? So where do I see a hit? I see a hit there. All right, so I'll drag these out of the way. Cut that there. You can get a good feel for the sound waves too. So let's see one there. There, there's one there. So he hit one, then he hit one. There's another one. Another one there, and another one there. All right, let me delete that. There's one there, yeah, delete that one too. And I think we'll let it come in right on that first hit. So I'm gonna hit Option S to bring it all back alive again. Make the cut there. back in here and I'll probably have him start talking as this is going down. So to do that, we're going to drag this out. Springtime means fence and deck season. It also means long. Bring it to there. All right. And then I'm going to pull this. I 
want him to start talking there. All right, so drag this audio over, drag the video up on top, then you can let it play out. See how, f hit V to disable that. So I think I'll, at that point, I'll let the, I'll let their video come back in, right? So I'm gonna hit V again, all right? And drag this over to the playhead. So he's gonna be talking and then it's gonna come back in. Springtime means fence and deck season. It also means lawn and garden season. Sweet. So this, this video is, it's 125. I, I don't know, I can't really cut it down too much more. So I'll probably just leave it. It's starting to push it for an Instagram reel, which this is gonna be, but that's okay. You can't always get them to like 30 seconds or a minute. And their, their audience that watches them, like they're, you know, they're construction people, they're people who like house stuff. They, they like watching their content, so I'm not concerned about it being a minute and a bit. So I'm gonna hit R and bring this audio up here. I always double check what the other one was. So this one was negative two, so I'll match that. All right. So it is. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. I don't like how that did that on this shot here. He, he stopped his uh, stopped his tilt. So hit Option up, drag that back, bring it there, drag it to the front, and you're gonna hit Option Command down, and it replaces that clip. fence and deck season it also means lawn and garden season if you or someone you know needs any help I'll I think I'll I'll close with this shot but I'm gonna make it normal speed anyone needs any help on the exterior or interior of their home think Steve Bill give us a call cut the music off there I'm just going to cut it there. Any help on the exterior or interior of their home? Thanks, Steve Bill. Give us a call. Sweet. All right, so get the whole timeline built out. Let's take a look at it. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. <laughs> So we are here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We are stripping the sod by hand and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're gonna be three high. We have four feet in between each one of them for- Heard a click there. Three high, we have four feet high. So I'm gonna, de I'm gonna oh that's already detached. I'm gonna pull it over, swallow it in. Three high, we have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this not once, not twice, but thrice at three different Meridian locations, and uh, we will be having the, what would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening, yeah, yeah, something like that on Monday. Dedication. So it is. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. fence and deck season it also means lawn and garden season if you or someone you know needs any help on the exterior or interior of their home think steve build give us a call sweet that's done to me i like that that's good so now turn the audio down so now we're going to get going on our color all right so you're going to come to the color panel here and hit window i have a i have a custom workspace set up called color grading you can so once you have a workspace set up right you can um i mean if you if you're starting fresh you go to workspaces and click color and effects you have all these options here right i am going to open mine up which i you set yours up custom 
and then you hit save and then you title it. So I titled mine color grading. It automatically goes to this and I close this. And I like, I like having these three open, right? To be honest, I don't use these too much anymore. I've just kind of gotten accustomed to what's too saturated, what's not saturated enough. RGB overlay just tells you how much red, green, and blue is happening within the image. This tells you how saturated things are, you know, like for like your, especially here, it's gonna be a lot of skin tones. You don't want these to be getting too close to these points. You want them kind of back around here. And this, this is the one that I use a lot. This is for your exposure. Um, so, you know, you follow broadcast standards, which basically means you don't wanna be above 100 or below zero. 100, above that, you're clipping. Down here, you're, you're getting a little too black. So this was shot in Cine 4, I believe. I've, I found that the S-Log 2 on the A7 III is not very good just because it's only 8-bit color. I just, I'm never happy with the footage, so I don't, even, I don't even bother with that. So John's shot this in Cine 4, which is a semi-flat look. So I'll bring in a little bit of saturation, all right? And right off the hop, a little bit too hot so I'll go to the global and bring that down which brings us actually good on the blacks and overall that that really looks pretty good all right looks pretty good already so then I'll, I'll go to temperature fiddle with that tint I like to again if you're on Sony I I find that the skin tones aren't great you got to kind of dial in a lot of magentas usually if you're on Canon, usually your skin tones right of the camera are really good. So then you open up a color curves and you're going you're gonna to start from the bottoms. And you're going to go over to, so that's like your, your darks or shadows. And you're going to go up to your highlights. And then you go back down to this area and then up to this area. And all you're doing is kind of making an S on all these and getting like, getting custom color looks within each section of the image, right? So I work my way down and then I come over to the blues here and work my way back up the other side. Welcome back. My memory card filled up. All right, so we were at the red on the color curves. So I've, I was playing with the red, now I'm moving down to green in that shadows area and to blue. Then you're going to go, you're making that S, right? It doesn't, it's not a literal S always, you know, depending on the image, you're going to want to pull certain colors away, add certain colors in other spots. All right, so it's looking pretty decent to me, a little bit too red likely. And you're, once you've, once you have this established, these, these points, just kind of, just kind of toy with them. Go back to your color wheels, turn that on and off. Go to your color curves, on, off. That looks pretty good. All right, so back to color wheels. All right, that feels good. That feels good. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with that. That looks good to me, I'm gonna hit Command, Command C. And then I'm, I'm simply gonna select, I'll select the top clips first and hit Shift, Command V and uncheck those because you've already done all that. You're just wanting to paste this here, right? And then click the first clip in sequence on that main timeline, then shift in the last one, and then shift command V, uncheck the audio, and then you're, you're pasting all those settings. So we have all those color settings kind of put on here. And then I'll just make my way through, hit command plus a bunch, make my way through, and actually, you know what? Sorry, I had I had a thought when I was looking at that, and then I uh, I hit Command Z, Command Z, take all those settings off. I had a thought when I was looking at it. It could be a little punchier, so I'm gonna um, because after I'm gonna show you a, a look grade I like to put on these. I'm gonna drag that down, make it just a little punchier, because we're gonna we're gonna soften it up later. So copy those settings, Command C, select all these, Shift Command V. Turn off the audio, paste those color settings. First one in sequence, last one with a shift and a click. And shift command V, uncheck the audio, put your color on there. All right, so we're good. These are gonna be darker, yep. So 
come over here looking at this just always use those scopes start with the global so we got to come up to right, right at 100 you want to give yourself a good dynamic range then drag your shadows back down and this is a little too crunchy or punchy so drag those up it's a little more green then because they're on the grass as well you know looks good check the color curves right, i'm going to adjust this a little bit there, that's good. I dragged that green down a touch. So now these are all going to look a little different, right? So I've got my look here. I'm going to select this and the last one in the sequence and go up here somewhere. Uh, remove attributes you're going to select, which is also Shift Command X. And retime and keep that on, but you're going to remove the color stuff, right? You can also get to that up here. If you hit shift and click all this and just hit delete, it'll get rid of it as well. Um, but I'm going to select this color, command C. I'm going to pick all these clips and then hit shift command V and throw that color grade on there. I'm sorry, this is, this is color correction in this point. So these are looking good. It's a little hot. See how it's kind of arcing up there. And that, you can push this sometimes, you know, if it's like a really bright sun shot or a bright light, that's usually fine, but we'll see what it looks like when we dial it back. So bring down the global, bring up the shadows a touch, bring up the mids a little bit. That looks good to me. And this clip's looking a little cool. So go to color wheels and bring in the temperature just a touch, warm that up. A little too punchy as well, so I'll hit the midtones. Bring those up just a little bit. And now we're back here. These are still looking pretty good. Now we're back to this kind of shot where we got that new look from. So copy these, select all those, edit, and remove attributes. Remove, oop. So make sure you go through and you look at everything because I removed the timing there by accident. So uncheck timing. Take those off and then shift command V and there you go. So this is darker. Um, he, John had a variable ND on this lens. So he was likely, I love using those. Some people say they don't like variable NDs because it makes the sky look funny. I've never really found that. I love throwing a variable ND on and then you just, you don't have to mess with your settings too much. You can just kind of adjust it right there. So it's looking a little too kind of magenta. Dial it back and balance it. So then we're going to copy those settings again, paste them all on these clips. Uh, okay, so I, I didn't remove all these edits, so it like doubled down. So select them all, remove attributes. All right, so copy those, select all of them, shift command V, and there you go. So it's a little hot, a little too bright. Bring down the global, and the shadows back up. That looks good. This could be a little punchier. So bring the mids down. So the shadows are, I don't know, we bring the shadows down first. The shadows down. A little hot up there. Shadows back up. Looks good. And that looks pretty good there. This is just barely kind of peaking, but that's just his hat. So, you know, you're wanting to take an average of the whole exposure, right? On average, this is sitting right around 100. On average... It could go a little darker in the shadows. So touch, not too much, right there. All right, and then um, back on these. You know, now I'm looking at these shots and they're feeling a little cool almost. I might be wrong, but I, I always, if I, if I just get that, you know, be honest with yourself. You get that gut feeling. It's looking a little off. And just, just go in right where you are and adjust it. That looks a little better to me. That compared to that. 
see how this, that's a little cooler. So I'm gonna remove, I've now done that to this clip. And these are essentially, these are all gonna be the same, right? These ones, so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna remove those attributes from, from all of the clips where these two are talking and paste the color grade back or the color correction back on those. So I'll remove these attributes as well. This is just a single clip, so I can go over here, select both of those, delete. Paste. This one is a little different, a little crunchier, a punchier. So uh, bring up the mids probably, that's good. Now, where else did we have these clips? We had them here, right? So I'll remove the attributes there. And paste back on. A little crunchy. So the sun's, the sun's clearly kind of changing, or maybe this was shot at a different time. It might've been one of those different takes, I can't remember now. Bring the mids up. So we're at negative 0.2. Same thing over here. Bring those mids up to, you can type it into negative, what was it, 0 0.2? Yep. All right, and then back to the start. And delete those and add that in. Crunchy again, punchy again. Bring up the mids. There you go, that looks good, looks really good. Okay, we were here. So we're gonna ditch all of these settings, these colors. Remove the color and maybe go with this one here, copy. Once you're at this point, you can start to copy and paste similar clips, settings. So I know that, that was similar to that. So we had this shot then, which was a wide, which should be similar to this shot. So copy that and paste. Pretty good, little hot. You're You're looking at kind of averages and you're looking at consistency. So if you're if you're able to kind of match up shots that look similar, you're going to save yourself a lot of time. So you're not going in and custom editing each and every clip, the color on it. So that was a shot of the van. So we'll, that's pretty good. We have them throwing stuff. Do we have that? There's another one of a guy throwing stuff. Paste that color pretty good. This is similar to maybe one of these shots because it was looking down at the, the grass. We got, I'm going to go ahead and try all those on there. I'll try that, those settings on all these. So that's, you can see right off the hop, that is pretty good there. This is too hot because there's lots of there's lots of white in this shot, right? It's really picking up on the bright white on the van in the background. So pull that down, pull your shadows back up. This is also a little hot. Down, shadows up. This that's good. And this shot, that shot's good too. That's good. We gotta get that one. So grab a clip that's similar, copy those settings, remove these ones off of this clip, and paste those settings. That looks good. Okay, so start to finish. Let's watch this start to finish after I hit Command Zero. 
which is going to take me back. It's going to remove. It's going to remove the workspace you were in. All right, so now we're gonna go to the titles section up here. And I have this thing called adjustment. You got a base correction and look grade. It just puts this purple thing on top of everything. You can find these online. Like if you, if you just type in um, adjustment, adjustment layer, download Final Cut Pro, you can, you can find those and you can download them and it'll, it'll explain to you how to import them into Final Cut. So I'm gonna make what is now the color grade. We had just finished the color correction. Color correction is getting everything looking similar. Now what we're wanting to do is create the look. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come to the Luma curve. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an actual S here. All right? So I'll drag this this down the section up on this line and then come to the tail and the shadow. Remember when I said earlier, it doesn't matter for a little punchy because we're going to soften it up later. It's just giving it like a little bit of a softer filmic look, right? So it's subtle, right? But it, it just kind of smooths everything out nicely. And then you're going to go to the hue saturation curves. And something I like to do that can be challenging with 8-bit color, but you can still kind of get the effect is is I find that the greens right at a camera are just really hot they're really obnoxious so I'll, I'll hit the color picker here and I'll select a very yellowy area of this green and pick it and then I'll pull that down so it's a little bluer like if you go up it gets funky right very kind of orange it's up to the oranges and pinks and then down here it's into the blues and purples right so I'm going to pull a little bit more blue into it, just so that grass looks a little healthier. But now this is still too punchy for me. So I'm going to do the color picker on the hue and sat. Select that. And you're just going to desaturate it a little bit. All right. Now you don't, you don't want to do this too much, especially with 8-bit color. With 10-bit color in the, something like the Sony a7S III, you can get away with more. But you're not, you're not wanting to go crazy with this. All right. And even like that's even too kind of bright, so dial it back. But see the kind of difference it makes? Just makes it look like a little bit more of a green green instead of like a nasty yellowy green. So we got that set. And then I'll do another hue saturation curve. And, I, and this, is, this is something for everybody to play around with. There's different LUTs you can get, different looks you can get, but this is a look that I just do on every single video I make. So I come, there's these lines, vertical lines here. The, they're kind of hard to see the the first one, but it is there, right? It's like really like light line, darker line, light line, darker line. You go to this first light line and then the second line in from the left. And then from the right, you're going to do the same thing. And you're just going to select this here and you're just going to pull it up a little bit. All right, and see what that did to like the sky and all the blues? It just kind of makes it a little more teal, which in my opinion looks a little bit more like a sky. Um, if it's if it's not on, it's a little bit more purpley, right? And that, again, that's a Sony thing. The color in Sony is can be kind of funky. But then you want to dial down the intensity of that blue a little bit by selecting here, here, and in the center. You just pull it down a touch. You're going to come down to the Luma versus Sat, and you're going to select the first hard line in from the left, and then crank this right down. And you're gonna come over here and you're just gonna play with this one. It's not gonna make a massive difference, but you see, see the um, the saturation on his face there. You're just gonna kind of it's like right on Dave's face. If you can see it, kind of pretty saturated, not saturated. You want to play with it until it looks good to your eye, right? So I'm somewhere around around there. Got that. So that's it for the look. That's with it on. That's with it off. You see how it just kind of creates 
not only a nicer contrast in terms of black and whites, but now there's a nice color contrast as well. Um, this, this looks kind of basic. This, this looks a lot nicer, a lot more dynamic. It's really playing into the complementary colors of the oranges and, and reds kind of on their skin and in Steve's hair here compared to like the, the nice blues. So it's giving you a good color contrast, good general look. So let's watch this whole thing back. And as I'm watching it, have your, your look favorite. grade selected. And if you hit V, it turns it on and off. I like to just turn it on and off on all the clips all the way through just to make sure that I do have a good consistent look. What's up everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. here and we are preparing these four garden beds we're stripping the sod by hand and we are laying down these six by six garden beds they're gonna be three high we have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs we will be doing this not once not twice but thrice at three different meridian locations and uh, we will be having the what would you call it uh commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening. Yeah, there's yeah. something like that on Monday. Dedication. That's what it is. Yeah. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. <laughs> Springtime means fence and deck season. It also means so I don't like how long it kind of went on this uh, this dirt pile. It didn't really do anything for me. So I'll start, I'll bring this back, this clip back in sooner than I did. Springtime means fence and deck, fence deck. Go a little. Means fence and deck. That's good. Springtime means fence and deck season. It also means lawn and garden season. If you or someone you know needs any help on the exterior or interior of their home, Thanks, Steve Bill. Give us a call. And that's that's done. Um, so last thing I'll do is I'll, I'll go through and I'll make sure that all the cuts are actually, in fact, lining up on the beat of the song. And you can just hit it down, you know, listen for that. Just ride back and forth on that cut, make sure it's hitting a beat. If you're not sure, just rewind it a bit and play it. Alright, so this weird on the B-roll it doesn't matter, it's just playing over top of him talking. Okay. Okay. So see that one? It's not changing on the beat. So I'm gonna find that beat. There's that beat. I'm gonna hit option and drag it up. I'm just gonna drag that clip over to the playhead and then you hit uh, command option down and it puts it back in place on that beat. All right, so play it, see what it does. Other, another, another one, didn't land on the beat. All right, this is all, these are all just little details to think about. Just to tighten up your edit. fence and deck season it all great okay so that's that's good i have done that um i've been i don't have many extras on this so i think what i'll do on this one is sometimes if you have a lot of sometimes if you have a lot of edits made you had a lot you have a lot of different effects or titles etc on your video then what is best if you're trying to make it vertical is export it as a wide and then you edit it as a vertical video after but because i don't really have much going on on this video i'm just going to i'm just going to copy all this all right so select it all hit command c and then you're going to come up to you're going to come up to the space that the 
project was saved in. For some reason, this was saved in the lab. I don't remember exactly what I did. I think I had lab selected when I started a new project. Um, you can pick where this gets saved, but I just like to keep all my projects in the same event. So once that's selected, you hit File, New Project, and I'm going to type in Meridian Vert, and we're going to do Custom, and 2160 by 3840. Okay. So make that, select that and then you're gonna paste that video into there, okay? And now, we're gonna make this vertical. We have, to, we have to really think about, if you're doing client work, you have to think about, uh, if you're doing client work, you have to think about final use. What are they gonna be using the video for? And nine times out of 10, especially something like this, it's short, sweet, to the point, they're gonna be wanting to put it on socials, and unfortunately, you, you can't get away with putting a horizontal video on socials anymore. So, this, this is going to be challenging because they're, so, they're not like right beside each other and drama is kind of close to them. That's something else to think about when you're shooting it. Shoot very wide, stay far away from people if it's going to be made vertical. Um, but we can, we can make this work maybe with some keyframing. Yeah, we can still make this work. So what I've done is I brought the scale to where it fills up that whole screen, which is gonna be 320 something. We'll just make it 320. All right, and you're gonna copy that. And you're gonna paste that scale onto all of your clips. Again, make sure you're not double pasting other effects that you don't want going there. You just paste in the scale. All right. Those effects off, take that off. Just the scale. All right. Now let's see what we got. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil. Okay, there. so we can get into some keyframing here and make it kind of <laughs> different and unique, right? What's up, everybody? I think I'll start with this a little more centered. Steve, Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, lead hand Rob. We are now at this point, I think I'm going to bring it over to him so you're gonna you're gonna put a keyframe here and you're gonna hit over one frame and then pick how long you want it to take to shoot over to him right so you're here on so i want it to go over to him by that point so i'm gonna bring it over to just on dave on location at the meridian bank in virgil ontario and what are we doing steve now at this point you want so keyframe another keyframe another keyframe and you're gonna fire over to steve we're doing some community garden beds. <laughs> right? And now we're going to keyframe it back to Dave. Commute. Right there. <laughs> some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? And then same thing. Keyframe. Keyframe. Back to Steve to get his talking point. Because we're helping our community. Help. <laughs> All right, keyframe there, keyframe there, Helping our back to Dave. Our community in celebration of? <laughs> back to Steve. Birthday. Probably actually have it on both of them. Boom, this guy has all the answers. Nice, okay, let's see what we got there. What's up everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds, and why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom, this guy has all the answers. So here you can you can start to kind of gla grab clips and slide them around where you want them. I'd like their branding to be in there a little bit, you know, so you can pick where this is going to land. You know, I like I I would almost rather have like a sweep on that shot. So you put a keyframe at the start and you hit down and one to the left because that means you're on your final frame. Another keyframe and you're going to show all the wood, right? And that, that actually kind of goes nicely with that sound. 
And I would prefer if that sign was centered right there. So we and let's get that whole name in there. There we go. Like that. So we are here and we are here. And we're gonna be on Davy here. And we are preparing the It's a little far on. I'll try that. We are preparing these four. Okay, so we'll copy that. Command C, Shift Command V. And we just want the scale and position. Garden beds. These four garden beds. Weird. And we are preparing these four garden beds. Weird. Preparing these four gar garden beds. Weird. Stripping. All right, so we'll, on this one, get over to showing a bit of the shovel. Stripping the sod by hand, and we are laying. So can pull this clip over to the left a little bit. So you're just you're just doing, thinking about composition, right? Yeah. Reframing. And we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're going to be three high. We have four feet in between oh. each one of them for ingress and e egress of wheelchairs. We we will be doing this not once, not twice, but thrice at three different meridian lengths. Okay. So here that starts good, and then it starts to pull away from them, right? So put a keyframe there. This not once, not twice. And then put. Keyframe, hit over once, and then you kind of go to where you want it to follow them from. So it's going to follow them from that point. Drag over to them. At three different meridian locations, and a now we're starting to drift again. So keyframe. We will be have bring it back. Having the what would you call it? Call it uh, commemorate. So see what see what happens. Like it starts to kind of get really screwy when you. Uh, <laughs> when you mess around with vert stuff. So I'm just gonna restart. So this was this is happening because of that setting that I put on the horizontal video, the wide. So what would you call it? Uh, this is that zoom, if you remember. Uh, ordination. All right, but it's not registering properly. So reset that and reset this. Bring this back to 320. And we're gonna, we still wanna do that zoom though. So we're gonna kind of come over on baby boy. You're gonna put both those on. Go to the last. You're gonna hit down and over. So you're on that last frame, and you're gonna crank it into his face. Let's give him a good 600, real awkward close up. Bring this so it's kind of where you want it framed, and see if that hits. What would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening. Yeah, there's something like that on Monday. Dedication. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. Uh, okay, so we start on him here. Dedication. Dedication. Uh, put that there. And dedication. Get Steve's reaction. Jump over to Stevie. Yeah. And then keyframe, keyframe, jump back to Dave. We'll now. be having the day. Back to Davey boy. Vacation on Earth Day. So now on this clip, let's see what we have on both sides. So we got this or this. Uh, I'd say likely this is the better shot. And on here, maybe we'll do a. Uh, we're already doing a bit of a pan there. So maybe we'll start, which way is it pan? It's panning that way. So we put a keyframe at the start and we'll start from maybe here. And at the end of it, we're just showing their whole kind of setup, right? It's a little too fast for me. Um, I'd like to be more gentle. So let's grab that. I think we'll just grab, just do a gentle kind of pan, just accelerate that pan. So keyframe there, go to the end. Maybe on this one, end up like there maybe. It's good, good branding. And we'll kind of get on him, stay on. Him. 
something you can, a little trick you can do if you wanna, if you wanna track somebody. So let's use this. We wanna, we wanna track Taylor here. So we're gonna go to titles and we're gonna type in custom. I'm gonna drag that down on top of that clip. All right, and you are going to double click and put a period. And you wanna make it like the size of the front of his nose, all right? And I wanna keep, so select the clip. I wanna keep him centered in this frame, okay? So I'm gonna select the, the title, the start, the start of that clip. Select that title and I'm gonna hit this little negative symbol up here. And I'm gonna drag that up onto his nose, just the front of his nose. And you go frame by frame with keyframes and you're gonna track them. All right, that's the next one. Just the X. You're gonna go every, every few frames. I'm doing five frames. We'll see how that looks. If it doesn't look good, you can always go back and uh, do less. That's good. Okay, and then hit, hit V, turn that off. See what it does. It looks kind of bad. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. So we're gonna scrap that. It doesn't always work. It doesn't always look great. So we'll just kind of maybe keep him in that position, right? So just do a gentle sweep. So put a keyframe at the start, and then a keyframe at the end, and we're just gonna follow him through that, that uh, plane of view. So it's a little more gentle. All right, so that's, that's with, that's if you track him like that. And this is without, All right? Plan Z, you wanna keep that in. And here, the reason I like this shot was because we kind of had them over on the edge, right? So keep them on the edge, putting that down. Springtime means fence and deck season. It all Cool. Now. Also means lawn and garden. Springtime means fence and deck season. It also means lawn and garden season. If you. Okay, I think on this one, we'll just be focused on Dave here. Garden season. If you or someone you know needs any help on the exterior or interior of their home, think Steve Bill. Give us a call. Sweet. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm going to go back to the start and give the whole thing a watch. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! So I'm just gonna stop. I wanna get some, just wanna add some, a little bit of texture to it. So I want to have like a whip sound when it's going back and forth between those shots, like whoosh, so I'd like to, you know, get a good variety. So I'm just going to an old project I have with a company called 804 Group. No. Nope. That's good. Car cars are something. Yeah, I'm not really hearing, not really hearing the sound in my head. So. This is a great time to use story blocks. I use story blocks for all of my sound effects. I think there's literally been one or two times where I, I had to make one myself because I couldn't find it on story blocks. I'm sure there's other softwares as well. I just, I like story blocks. So I'm just gonna type in whip. more of the sound. All right, so download that. Oh, there. So we got two different sounds there, whip and whoosh. All right, so 
I got my sound effects. I start a new folder here, right? New folder, call it sound effects. And I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna put both of those sounds in the sound effects folder. Come back here to this panel, new event, SFX. You just have that folder open, drag those in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and, which one sounds better first? I like this one. This one first, and then this is the second sound. So now you can, even to keep track of, of sound effects as well, you can make custom audio rolls for that, right? So we already have an effects one. Oop, add audio roll. I already have an effects one, so do like effects two, right? I'm going to call this one effects, and this one effects two. So you can just differentiate between the two different sounds. Is this one worth one? We are here on, we are here on. Okay, so I'm going I'm to copy this. This is, this is going to be a slower one. So you can, you can change the speed of your audio. Um, slow, make it maybe 50%. On um, locate. I think it's still too. We are here. It's still too uh, fast. We're here on. Yeah, so we're going to delete that. I need a, need a slower sound where one of those I was listening to in the 804 group folder that might actually work. Clip sound effects. I don't think it maybe it doesn't even warrant a whip. I don't know. Let's see. It's this one here. So that's, the, that's the first whip. I'm gonna take down the intensity on it, so hit command, bring down the sound. Word. Yeah, that's good. That is happening right on cue. Word. It's a little fast, you know, so slow it down to maybe like 75%. We're doing yeah, a little too loud, too. Word. Just want it to be subtle. Steve. Word. It's good. <laughs> Okay, and then we're, this is the faster sounding whip, because we're whipping back to Dave now, right? Community guard, community, community guard. Can you hear that? You know, we're going to copy this one. It's more of this sound, actually. And we're going to make this one normal speed again. Save this one for later. Community. Bring it back. Dial up the audio a bit. Community guard. Yeah. Community guard. That's good. Okay. That's good. And go back to Steve at that point. Are we doing them? Because we're That's good. Because we're helping. Because we're helping our community. Helping. Helping our community. Copy this one, which is a little bit slower. It's good to have a good variety of sounds, you know. Don't don't just make the exact same sound on every. Welcome back, my my battery died. So what I've done is I have I've added in all of those those whip sounds. If if it's a short video and like I get I get sort of like a gut instinct idea, then I'll just jump in and I'll do it right away because it's going to sort of inform the flow of the rest of the edit. If it's a long video, like if it's like 20, 30 minutes or something, sometimes I'll just take a little note and then, you know, when I do my next run through, then, then I'll make that change I was thinking. But now I'm gonna kind of watch back the whole thing and see where we're at. I think, I think it's pretty much done. What's up everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing so. Okay, so again, I'm now seeing another opportunity. Just make it a little more, a little more punchy. It is for socials. You want it to be quick, quick, quick. So I've got, I've got first of all a couple sounds that I can add. So first one is a ding, which I believe I added in one of my other videos I made recently. Shine ding. 
That's the sound there. So copy that, go back to this, put it in the sound effects folder. Drag that right in. Oop. Drag that right in. And then the other one is, so I'm going to make a new folder and call it um, PNG. I have a little arrow that I used on another video, the Lightroom video. If you like photography, I did a Lightroom video a while back. It was for this guy, Matt. He wanted to learn about Lightroom. So I had a Zoom call with him and I recorded my whole process. So if you're into photo as well, you can check that video out as well. I'll put it at the end of the, this video. I'm just going to copy this arrow. Put that in the PNG folder. Start a new PNG event. I'll drag that in there. Maybe. Drag that in there. Okay, so I just want to... He's saying, he's saying their names. So I want to add their names. So we got... Just gonna do a custom. Okay. Already set. Garden Dave, big boss. There it is. Make this a little bigger. And if you if you hold shift and if you have a wheel, if you're like old school kind of setup instead of a laptop and you got a mouse and you got a wheel on it, if you hold shift, it will bring you back and forth on your timeline. Home and garden Dave. I'll be Dave. If. I want that shine ding to happen right, right here. So we go to the sound effects, get that shine ding. Right there. Probably too loud. And it, doesn't, it doesn't start right at the start of that clip, so I'm just going to drag it till it does. Big boss Dave, big boss Steve. Yeah, it's pretty loud, pretty piercing. Bring it down there. If big if big so that was negative ten. Let's bring that down to negative ten. <laughs> and go to the PNG. Let's start with the name. Let's start with the name first. So we got Dave. Dave. I go through different kind of phases with fonts. I've been liking Poppins a lot. Poppins, semi bold. And just to make it punch a little more, I've been outlining it. Crank up the width of that a little bit. Maybe to four. That's good. And to move this around, usually I, I go to the this section, this section here, the negative button, and I position it like, oh, position it like that. Um, I'll put a little lower because I'm going to have this arrow on there too. So I'll put the arrow above that. Drag it back. And make that a little smaller. Probably pull the Dave down lower now. Dave down lower, right there. Make that arrow a little bigger and rotate it. So it's kind of pointing at Dave. Like that. Dave, big boss, Steve. Now I'm gonna cut that name and the arrow right on that point, right? And I think you can, I think I can flip this. So if I open the effects panel and I type in flip. If lead hand. Oh, type in flip. Yeah, so apply that there. And that, that's gonna flip that. So now I, I can spin it around and I'm gonna slide that over to Steve. 
And then I'm gonna bring, I'll bring this down a little lower and slide that over, bring it back up, call him Steve. Let me select you. And I want to let me select him. There we go. Steve. What? If it freaks out like that, go back. You just double click where you're at. Over there. Why is it doing that? Oh. It pasted at the end of the video for some reason. That was confusing. Dave. Steve. Steve. All right. And we'll make it like the same, roughly the same length as Dave's name was. Chop that back. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location. If lead. Okay, and then. Um... Lead Hand Rob. Rob. Lead Hand Rob. I don't want to do the ding again on Rob's name. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a so I'll find that another folder I had which was which was what? Vlogs I am trying to ding. What was that in? No. Lightroom? Trending. Hmm. No. Clips, no. Ashcroft, Lightroom, Eclipse, Hover, and Blog, Subconscious. No. No. Pop? Is that what it's called? That sound? A pop? That's the sound. Grab that and go back to our Steve Built Edit. Throw that in the sound effects folder. Message pop up. And then I'm going to drag that into the SFX message pop and we'll have that start there it hand rob it hand rob i'll have it start a little yeah steve lead hand rob we are okay put that rob rob is over there Put this up at the top of the screen. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. At the top. Up, go on, go on, get up there. Do that, and now I need a... I want a different arrow for this. So, just find that on Google, arrow PNG, you're going to call it. And you want to, so I'm looking for a straight one, straight arrow. You can, it's actually best to look for one of these websites and then you can, you can just download it on there. Maybe here, you just click it and it'll bring you to the website. Um, let's do this one. It's not showing up though. All right, not that one, not that one, not that one. Um, Okay, 
What color were those? Those were white, right? What's this one? Well, Adobe stock. Let's do that one. Let's license that. PNG. If you don't if you don't have Adobe stock, that's okay. There's lots of free options online. Um, you just find a like I just did there, you know, look through some of these. A lot of these websites they just do have free downloads for PNGs. And we'll put that in the PNG folder. And import that one. And there we go. Put that up top. Spin around. This will this will be good, I think. Like I was looking for something that was black, so it would stick out against that lighter sky. Whereas those other the other arrows pointing to Steve and Dave, they were white against their black shirts. So let's just see how that feels. What's up, everybody? Actually, I'll turn this down first. I know that pop's going to be too loud. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location. Okay, so I got to cut that off before that shift happens. We are here. <laughs> so just make it super quick. Rob, we are here on. That was good. Okay, I'm gonna watch the whole thing now. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. We are here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We're stripping. Okay, so we're gonna do a jump cut there. Or sorry, like a jump, like zoom in closer on them. Oh, freaked out. Again, you can you can hit. If, it, if you remember, it freaked out because I had that setting baked in from the wide version. So you can just come over here and reset that position. Preparing these four garden. Bring them over here a little bit. Here, good. Here, bring it back to the beds. Start. Weird. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are. That should come in sooner, I think, with Dave. Garden Dave. Come in raids. There. Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Dave, Big Boss Steve. Just have that coming right when he says it. Right there. Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. Then, could have Rob's name last even longer. Lead Hand Rob, we are here on. Okay, pop over. Lead Hand Rob, we are here on. Okay. I think we're good now. I think we're good. Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand. What's up, everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. <laughs> So I'm seeing, um, is your sitting too long? The answers. What else was in this shot? There's like something else happening in there. I could move it over. I could use both of those shots. So 
I'll do this. Cut it there, all right? So we got Rob there. Guy has all the answers. And on this one, let me grab, come back over to my main timeline, the wide version. I just want to grab another clip there, just give it, make it move a little better. I'll grab this one. So grab that, bring it back to this one here. Just toss it at the end for now. And I need a shot that was similar to that. So he was working over here. So we got that. We'll grab the color off that. Shift Command V for paste. So I'm going to paste the scale and the color. There we go. And looks good. I'm going to bring up my color window again. So it's looking like it might be a little bit too hot. Yep. See it's peaking up there. So color wheels. Bring that down. Now it's a little too punchy though. So bring the shadows back up. That looks good. So Command Z to get back to your main window. And back somewhere near the start. I want to throw this in right here. And ideally it should be on a moment in that shot where he's do performing an action. I think he was doing a sweep with that pencil. Boom! This guy has all the answers. Go from right there. Doesn't have to be a long one. Remember, it's just a short clip. Yeah, we could do from there. Heads. We're stripping the sod. That'll be good. That's the shot. Throw that in. Remember, you hit Option Command down, replaces it. Delete that one. Throw this one Option Command down again. Boom! This guy has all the answers. The answers. All right, so I missed that beat there. So Option and drag it up, drag that out. Option Command down to get it back on that beat. Answers. So see how that feels better? It's just, it's not, it's not sitting too long on this one shot of essentially nothing, this one shot of him doing nothing, right? It just gives a little more variety to the video and it, it helps hold the viewer's attention a little bit better. So we are here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We are stripping the sod by hand and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're going to be three high. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this not once, not twice, but thrice at three different Meridian locations. And uh, we will be having the, what would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening. Yeah, there's yeah. something like that on Monday. Dedication. So it is. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. fence and deck season, it also means lawn and garden season. If you or someone you know needs any help on the exterior or interior of their home, think Steve Build. Give us a call. Done. I'm happy with that. I'm going to export it. So Dave, if you notice at the end there, like Dave's really good at that. He'll, um, he'll always make it into a, a reason to talk about what they do and why you've watched this video. He, he'll put a nice bow on it at the end, basically, and anybody who's made it to that point, maybe they've seen this and they see them, they're outside, they're doing outside stuff, and they're looking at it as a business opportunity where potentially a client, potential client can see this and say, oh, like I, I need a hand in my backyard doing something. That'd be a nice filler job for these guys. They do a lot of full home renovations, additions, custom stuff, but it's certainly good to just kind of go and play outside for a couple of days. These guys like doing that and it kind of keeps profits coming in for the owner, Steve, here. So, um, yeah.
I'm gonna go ahead and export this. So you, you make sure that your proxies are off. Like if your proxies are on and you, and you try to export it, um, a warning comes up, all right? So you just hit cancel, go to optimize original, and you go 4K wide. In your settings, um, I, I have it set to computer. Uh, the video codec is H.264 for better quality. Here's the resolution, all right? That's highest quality. And then this all stays the same. Rules, nothing matters there. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna call this Meridian Vert. So you go to next. And I have a folder. I keep all my stuff very organized. If it's for photo, I have photo folder. For this, I have a video folder. Video folder, it's in 2024, films. And I've got a steep built section. There's a whole new project. I haven't made a separate subfolder for this yet. So I put numbers before mine so that they stay in chronological order. We've got 06 Meridian. And we will save that. And that is exporting. So this, this video is able to be sort of a, a standalone, no changes to the timeline needed edit from wide to vert. Basically, if, if you have a client and they're, they're, they have multiple uses for the videos you're making for them, say if this, was, if this was a video, like a walkthrough video of a finished project that they did and it was long, it was like four minutes, then something you would want to consider is taking that wide version and chopping it up into 30 second to one minute long versions that are vertical like this. So they can put it on social media, but then they can put that wide version on their YouTube, which is something I've been pushing contractors to do more because it's a great platform to just have all of your work documented. And then if a project comes up and maybe somebody's interested in something that was similar to that project, you can just send them that video. It's also the best place for, you know, having it maybe live on your website. You could have a YouTube video living on their website as well. Once, once this is done exporting, I've had, I've had some issues with Final Cut from time to time where when it exports, there's certain frames that have like a, like a spastic red frame in it. Like it just completely misses the frame. So I, I always watch it back after it's exported to make sure. And if that red bit isn't in there, I'm good to go. If that red bit is in there, then I've found just shutting down the program and starting it up again gets rid of that problem. What's up everybody? Home and Garden Dave, Big Boss Steve, Lead Hand Rob. We are here on location at the Meridian Bank in Virgil, Ontario. And what are we doing, Steve? We're doing some community garden beds. Community garden beds. And why are we doing them? Because we're helping our community. Helping our community in celebration of? Birthday. Boom! This guy has all the answers. here and we are preparing these four garden beds. We're stripping the sod by hand and we are laying down these six by six garden beds. They're gonna be three high. We have four feet in between each one of them for ingress and egress of wheelchairs. We will be doing this not once, not twice, but thrice at three different Meridian locations and uh, we will be having the, what would you call it? Uh, commemoration, uh, ordination, uh, christening. Yeah, there's yeah. something like that on Monday. Dedication. So it is. We'll be having the dedication on Earth Day. fence and deck season, it also means lawn and garden season. If you or someone you know needs any help on the exterior or interior of their home, think Steve Bill. Give us a call. Done. Okay, that's it. I'm all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you picked up on some of the 
aspects of my editing process. If there's anything that you maybe want to know more about, feel free to leave a comment and I can make a video just specifically about that. Again, thank you for watching. Like this if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. I am a photographer and a videographer. I make videos about evergreen skills surrounding photo and video as well as my philosophical concepts that I use to just make my way through life and do business. I'll see you in the next one.